I have no idea what your living conditions are, but I was thinking maybe I could come and move in with you guys. A few things I would need are my own bedroom, bathroom, kitchenette, and separate entrance. Any thoughts? <laughs> Love, Mom. Yeah, Mom, just just buy a house already. Stop trying to do that. You want all the liberties of having a, your own house, but... Without it, what what the sh- Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We'll go back in r slash insane parrots and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, let me know if you got a pet, that would be- I always like seeing those. And if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I paid for pizza, it was around $45. It was uh, more around $40 but you just got $50. Next time, be straight with me, or else. The website said it was $44.20, so I rounded it up to $45. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't mind paying for it. I just want the right amount. Okay, I'll tell you the exact amount next time. Honestly, just every time I see the thumbs up now, I just kind of figure, okay, our conversation is over. Imagine telling your kid, do this or else, because they didn't give you the exact number, and God forbid they just round up. You must be the type of person that gets upset when they shop because everything is at 99 cents at the end of the price. You know, God forbid I say $13 instead of $12.99. That's apparently gonna ruin your day, isn't it? After another holiday with no kids or grandkids, it's evident I must have been a horrible parent. It is to the point I'm not going to forget holidays. I will not celebrate another holiday at my home. Don't ask, don't assume, I'm done. So please consider yourselves all free from ball and chain, aka mom. Another holiday? Oh, so how many of them did you feel that they were forced to come to of you being a douchebag before you came to this conclusion? How dare they have a reasonable response to an action? Since I'm already pretty upset, I never buy her new shoes. Usually, she can find some nice hand-me-downs through our Buy Nothing group, or she gets some from this place when she goes to Cali. Well, about six weeks ago, I bought her three three pairs from Walmart, brand new, a pair of nice dress shoes for church, a pair of shoes for the pool and a general outside summer play, and a pair of tennis shoes. These tennis shoes, destroyed in less than two months, I spent around $50 on shoes for her. Starting tonight, no more pool, no more bowling, no more riding her bike around the neighborhood or playing outside, no more library, no more anything until she can get her act together. We fly to Cali this weekend. She will likely stay there for a month or so, and I will come back and clean and remove everything that isn't necessary for her survival. I'm on the verge of breaking. Yeah, imagine your kid goes through a pair of shoes kind of quick, so your probable decision and the rightful action that you see going through your head is to basically take every single thing when it comes to having childhood enjoyment out of their life. I appreciate you cleaning my room, but you really didn't need to, and I can't find anything now. Well, what are you looking for? I only picked up trash off the floor and took the DVD player that was in the chair. I was looking for my iPad and my Switch, but I found them, and now I'm looking for my DS charger. All of the chargers are in the box. I put away all the gaming because you need to focus on school and work. Wow, I'm focused on school and work. I appreciate the thought genuinely, but I am an adult. Stop with the sassy. I'm not being sassy. Sassy. The caption on that one stated also that you pay rent and you're basically just living your room. Uh, no, your parents should not be coming in there if you are very much paying rent and cleaning, because they're very much, at that point, it's not their room, technically. And really, even before then, they shouldn't have been coming in, because, I mean, you gotta have some sense of privacy, and them coming into your room very much violates that. Hey, I need you to send me $80. I will give it back to you after work. I promise, I have to buy a set of tires for Amanda's card, I'm short 80 bucks. I'm at Benny's tires now. Ah, uh, you must be on lunch since you don't answer your work phone. You need to call me back ASAP. This place closes at 6 and I'm standing around like an idiot waiting for you. Hello? Yeah, I'm super busy unloading a truck right now and I'm sorry I don't get paid until Friday. Blank, don't screw with me. You are the only person who can help me in 
it really breaks my heart that you treat me like I'm some regular person asking for money. I'm your father, and I deserve to be treated better. I will have it back to you when Amanda gets home. I know you ain't broke. Please help me, son. Spare the bull. Yeah, no, you can even show that you don't have money in the account. Dingwad up top here will probably say something along the lines of, well, I bet you have a hidden account. Hey, I need the new insurance information. I don't have it. You're on your own. You have to get your own insurance. You said on the first we'd be getting a new plan. I'm leaving the family in two weeks. You're on your own. What do you mean you're leaving the family? What's going to happen to mom and blank? Maybe instead of screaming all freaking night and leaving without saying goodbye, you could have talked to me. No more talking. So what's going to happen to mom and blank? Everybody is on their own. Do what you have to do to survive. Oh, yeah, no, that's just absolutely fantastic. I'm off to fend for myself, need my own insurance. Great job on that. You know, it's just like a job, you know, two weeks notice when you're leaving a job, two weeks notice when you're leaving the family. Hi, it's mom. I hate to tell you this over text message, but you never call me or anything, so here it goes. I love you with all my heart, but you have broken it for the last time. My birthday was Saturday, February 11th, and did I hear from you? Nope. And now you want to help blank out by taking cats to the vet? I'm sorry, but that's a big fat no. Don't touch my cats. I can't deal with this BS, and I'm not going to. I've had surgery again. Nothing from you. Whatever you think I did to you to make Make you treat me this way? I just don't know, but I'm done. Still, I love you and hope you have a good life. I don't want to help Blank out by taking the cats to the vet. I wanted to help the cats out. I got my car yesterday, the house smells like cat pee before you walk in, and it has been for a while. A simple Google search says flea collars are toxic and kimchi has been sick for I don't even know how long, and Smokey has scabs and was skin and bone. My cat just died, and I don't want to see the others die from neglect. Caption on that one had stated, in case anybody needed context, I was no contact with my mom, my cat died, girlfriend I was living with broke up with me, so I have to move back. The parents' trailer is infested with fleas, it smells like cat urine, and there was multiple cat feces piles on the carpet slash floor. I told stepdad I'll take the cats to the vet, and she found out. And bottom line, if you treat an animal like that, you think the vet is the worst thing that's gonna happen to you, just wait till you find out about animal cruelty charges. Son, I've avoided saying this for a long time, but I just have to now. You're being 15 to 30 minutes late to meet Blank and me was just rude and inconsiderate. I'm sorry that I have to lay it out like this that you do, but being on time is something that costs you nothing. Uh, but for some reason, you seem to be so self-centered and selfish that you are unable to recognize that. Blank is nearing the end of his life. He's headed to heaven to be with Jesus and Blank. You will be invited to his funeral, the funeral that will not be held up until you decide to arrive. My good sir, uh, please do take a moment to realize that uh, being punctual is not absolutely everything. Sometimes shit happens. I do not understand why you girls will not talk to me. I would never pass a time to spend with both of my grandparents. If it's because of your mom, I also lost my daughter, which I miss very much. You know what I miss the most about mom? She respected me as an individual and listened to me when I expressed my issues with my mental health and set boundaries. I am incredibly disappointed that you think guilt tripping my sister and I was the move. You do not get to guilt trip or shame us into having a relationship with you. You made a choice disregarding my boundary, and I was very clear about how I felt about people feeling entitled to my time. Blank, you have already turned me away. If you are going to double down on disregarding my autonomy, I will block you. 
I'm not blank. I want to help you. We have always put your best interests first and still have your back. Please call me. Let's talk this out. We love you. Using emotional manipulation is not putting mine or Sadie's best interests first. You want something and aren't getting it, so you made a choice to blatantly disregard a very clear boundary. You used guilt and shame as an emotional weapon because it works for you on others. You made your choice, and here are your consequences. Yep, even Graham Graham is not exempt from the school of F around and find out. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start a them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.